Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Goblins Droblin, the show about the precarious life of cartoon characters. I, of course, am the titular Goblins, and here with me today... Panreal, reporting in again. Yes. So today we're going to be kind of keeping it laid back. We're just going to do a simple random character generator kind of episode. And for that, we're going to jump right into the Super Hero Wiki and get going. Right, right. So, our first randomly generated superpower is... Uh, first of two, of course. Fungal generation. <laughs> right? The user Fungal. can generate plants, including yeast, molds, and mushrooms by manifesting them wherever they want. That's... <laughs> do, you, do you want molds? Because this is a really easy way to get mold. Yeah. However, um, counterpoint, yeast... Yeah, you can you can't touch the bread, but you can make the bread. <laughs> you can create. Well, you could touch the bread. Theoretically, someone who can control molds and funguses can control them to be away. That's actually actually that's fair. I hadn't thought about that. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and start while you um get our next superpower. I'm going to start with a chef's hat because mm. what who's a better hero than? Your local baker, I of mean, course. Really. Uh, not all heroes wear capes. My baker just also happens to wear a cape. I don't right. know. Right. Um, if you think about it, an apron is kind of a front cape. <laughs> anyway, our next uh, power of uh -huh. two is healing bomb generation. Uh. <laughs> the user is capable of creating bombs, explosives, and other volatile constructs composed of healing energy, <laughs> healing wounds on anyone in the blast radius. That seems backwards. That does. Usually I don't walk out of an exploding building feeling better than I did. That's just like But a you do if thumb. you walk out of this guy's bakery. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's kind of backwards. That's kind of like, uh, what's a good... That's like the sewing sword. Oh. <laughs> oh It'll no. put your clothes back together. <laughs> I guess maybe sewing scissors would do better for that, but whatever. <laughs> All right, so, um... These scissors do bludgeon damage. So, fungal generation and healing bombs. Mm -hmm. Uh, hero? You think? I think so. You think yeah. so? At the very least, like, support character. Like, sure, like, a anyone in the JoJo party who's not JoJo. Yeah, no, of course, of course. Uh, gotta, no, get no. Our, gotta get our Kakuine, uh done <laughs> right quick, right quick. All right, I'm give, I gave it a little uh, little stank on the chef's hat there. Uh huh. Of course, uh, every 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 support hero has to have their stank. Uh, I do love though that you have gone with chef just right off the bat. <laughs> well, you said yeast, and something went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Also, I'm looking at the shape of this character just so far. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking heroin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel it. So, oh, that head doesn't quite come in enough. Let me. There we go. So, what um, what do you think gave this heroine her fungus healing bomb powers? I think um, she owned a restaurant, mm -hmm. or maybe owns a restaurant. Uh -huh. Every every hero needs a secret identity, right? Of course, of course. And she. Uh, one day, but her restaurant wasn't doing too well is the problem. Sure, sure. So she had to order some food supplies, very cheap, but from a questionable salesman. Ooh. And uh, one of these was a bunch of mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Well, she went to open it up, and it turns out all these mushrooms were alive. Oh! I like to think that... I like to think that they are alive. And she just ate them anyway. <laughs> well, honestly, she was going to, but then they said, Wait, if you allow us to stay alive and keep hiding in your bakery, we can give you the gifts of our people. Ooh, 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 ooh. I have never received a gift from a mushroom. That would be something I'd be very interested in. No, I've only had things taken from me from mushrooms. We won't ever forget the war. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually that's kind of like 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 a like a Mykonid race. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, 
So do you think that the do you think that the healing bomb thing is just like something that came from her like primary ability, or is that like completely unrelated? I think it. Uh, I think it came from the same thing. I think it came from the uh, uh, the fungal the fungaloids. Mm -hmm. That arm is kind of long. Right now. <laughs> Um, but it, it came from them. Um, they're they're naturey. They're good guys ultimately, or at least like a neutral race. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And maybe healing is just part of their thing. Yeah, like uh, also explosions. Also Question explosions. Mark? Yeah, uh, like a like a like a sort of like pollen that they release, like spores that to like maybe other things on their planet might be you know whatever. But to us, for humans, like it's a it's like a regenerative thing. Yeah, maybe. And, uh, I mean, if you put anything under enough pressure, it becomes an explosive. Maybe, hang on, maybe it does heal them, like, on their home planet or on their home turf, wherever that may be. Mm -hmm. But, um, the first time she tried, she, like, went to try and send out, uh, just this healing wave, essentially. Uh -huh. Just your standard cleric thing. Uh -huh. Um, but she let it cook for too long. Oh, the classic mistake of every baker. <laughs> <laughs> that is... Actually, that's really interesting. So... Hang on, let me get the front cape. Woo, front really cape! I'm going to go dramatic with it because I can. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have that strap come up a little more. But not, yeah, there not, you go. not all heroes wear capes. This one just happens to wear her cape backwards. <laughs> no, but that's actually... That's also hilarious. I do love the front cape. So, uh, I wonder, I'll have to decide once I get there, but I wonder if she has a back cape, too? Oh. <laughs> so she kind of looks like, like she's like, uh, what, uh, uh, she looks like, uh, like a bishop or something like that. Like, she has the long cape in the front and the long cape in the back. I need to fix this base nest. I'm gonna be a little sketching here. Ah, of course. Uh... Bakerella's uh, biggest weakness, not having a complete face. Bakerella. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's not her name. That's not her name. Definitely 100% not Bakerella. Just, you are very wrong. Nah, I feel it. But these, uh, I really, I really like her, her design so far, actually. I really do like the, uh, having an apron as a cape is actually really cool. I don't, I don't see that <laughs> often. And I do, <laughs> I like the thought of, like, her not necessarily changing outfits, but, like, <laughs> kind of just the lighting changes on her, and her, like, whenever she has to go from baker to hero mode, she just becomes, like, the, the, the lighting gets, like... I that on the wrong layer. Aw. That's okay, I can still do it. Um, but, like, the, the lighting on her gets, like, you know, more heroic, and her, and her apron starts flowing in the wind, even when there isn't any. <laughs> um... I think, um, I need some kind of mushroom, uh, like, paraphernalia on her somewhere, I think. Oh, we'll turn her chef cap into, like, a mushroom cap. It kind of already is, but I can do more. <laughs> kind of already is. <laughs> You're just getting pulled into the ether. <laughs> Usually. That's where I get the idea for these horrendous things that I do. <laughs> I feel it, I feel it. Okay, hang on, here. Uh huh. Uh huh. So. Uh huh. Oh. Oh. Uh huh. Perfect. Okay. Um. What kind of should I just Yoshi egg these mushroom or should I have something on it like a design of some sort? I think that like instead of having like the y Yoshi egg, the Yoki egg, the Yoshi egg design, uh, maybe do it in the same pattern but do it like crosses. And also, like, well, like son of God crosses? <laughs> no, 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 like like pluses, like healing oh. pluses. Oh, okay, like a uh, like a red cross. Yeah, uh, but you that actually that reminded me. You said you needed mushroom uh, uh, paraphernalia. <laughs> it looks dead. It <laughs> if I just leave these two. <laughs> <which is laughs> <why> <laughs> <not> <laughs> oh no, my cat died. <laughs> but what would be really cool is if she had like a healing bomb thing, and the aesthetics of it was a mushroom cloud, <laughs> right? 
very good. Very good. So that's what happens when it explodes. Mm -hmm. I already kind of had an idea for um, what they look like when they're just their bombs, when mm -hmm. they're just getting ready to go. Sure, sure. Hang on. Hand drawing. Yeah. The bane of all writers and bakers. <laughs> Everything is a baker's problem, really. <laughs> bakers accept the problems of the real world. <laughs> All problems are my problems. Should I um should I kind of complete her legs here or should I draw the bomb real quick, you think? I think I I, do, I am curious on what your design is for this. Alright, um I think um I think she's probably wearing pants, but maybe her shirt's a little long. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, She uh she goes uh, Zoro girl a little bit and kind of opens up when she goes into her superhero mode, as you can see. Sure, sure. Wearing your shirt this low in a kitchen would, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, as someone who spends a lot of time in the kitchen, you do not wear, you know, open stuff that just... <laughs> oh, that spells disaster. I also... It doesn't kind of make sense there that her go. shirt would be a little longer, because, like, if you're going to be spending a lot of your time around stuff that's going to get your clothes dirty, you aren't really wearing it for like style. You're more wearing it because you don't really care if it gets dirty. I like how you're uh, trying to validate my stupid costume decision. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, of course. That's uh, what else are friends for? Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> All right. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Maybe just. Mm, I think I want her more pants than like leggings. Mm -hmm. They just flare a little bit here, I think. I like flats though. Mm -hmm. And so so does she have like do you think she has like a super suit or do you think that it's just kind of like whatever she's wearing or like maybe there there's like a middle ground I don't know I I did kind of just give her a chef's uniform and apparently her secret identity is also chef uh... <laughs> I like to think though that she still has the Clark Kent uh, thing where the only <laughs> thing that she does is like take off her glasses or something like that and no one can tell who she is even if she's wearing <laughs> the same outfit. <laughs> well I think her hat changes. I think at least that Oh yeah goes for sure for different. sure. Um should I give her like her hair tied back or should it be short, you think? Um Mr. Panreal. I think I think having it short is is kinda cool. Okay. Um just like yeah, just having like the the short. I I'm I'm viewing her as like a lighter color, uh, light brown, blonde, maybe even a redhead. Right. Yeah. Probably. I don't think she stands out too much. I yeah. mean, she's uh she's Baker girl. She's not like she wasn't like a cheerleader. She's not a model by any means. She's she yeah. she sits and um she makes bread. Speaking of, I think it's about time I started drawing these bombs. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's the yeast for the deceased. <laughs> oh, no. That's great, though. That's so good. And it's uh, very hot and fresh. She just uh, made it out of thin air. <laughs> Boop. She's like, looks like this bun is out of the oven. Yeah! Oh, doom, you know what? Doom, 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 doom. You know what? I heard yeast earlier, uh -huh, uh -huh. but she also controls fungus and mold, right? Yeah, yeah. So... Uh-oh. No! <laughs> Cheese no. has mold. <laughs> Cheese is mold. Exactly. Oh. So why couldn't she also make little, little cheesy healing bombs? <laughs> no. Yes. Get cheddar soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yes. Oh uh, yes. What we? Oh no. We've literally just made a a character. Whose entire superpower is making sandwiches. <laughs> oh no. Okay, um, I need to do something with this face. 
we established she sounds like a character who actually has a secret identity, so I can't just have her face hanging out. For sure, for sure. Um, what should I do hmm. with it though? Is there anything I can do with the theme? I still don't have a lot of real, real mushroomness going on. Somehow I managed to turn this into an episode about baked goods. Yeah, right. I don't <laughs> exactly know, but um, like, well, like we have the pluses on her on her hat. Um. We okay. might be able to get away with like a like a masquerade, uh, like a like a persona on her, on her face in like the form of a plus. Hang on, hang on. Okay, I see your I see your plus, uh -huh. and I raise you. You add if. Uh... Ooh, bam! That's no, that's dope. That's actually, little, I really like that. It's a little uneven, but. <laughs> Someone comments it in the middle of combat, like, uh, hey, uh, not, not Bakerella. Your, your, your eye thing okay, looks we, a little... we definitely need to pick out a name for her before this episode's over if you're gonna call her Bakerella. No, no, I said not Bakerella. <laughs> I was, I was specific. <laughs> right, a nose? Mm -hmm. Um, I think I kind of like, cause she's a mushroom kind of here, I think I like kind of blank eyes. Yeah. Like, within her mask, just like, uh, that looks a little crazy with the smaller eye. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, would you like to try my bread? I hope you need a sandwich! Uh, <laughs> there, that's a little better. I wonder, like, cause she can... Can she only summon loaves of bread, or can she summon sliced bread? Is what I want to know. Oh, I'm sure she could summon, maybe a maybe summon a slice summoning sliced bread. The best thing since, uh, maybe that's like her special attack, <laughs> and it takes her time to kind of because she has to like summon it as a loaf. And, and then, then, like, split it apart <laughs> on her own. Yes. And actually, she could just as easily be summoning actual, like, mushrooms and stuff. But <laughs> I imagine these things gave her the gifts. And they're like, we have special healing powers. And she's like, wow, that's pretty cool. I would, I would like that. I think that would be helpful. Also, you can control mushrooms and mold. And she went, that's gross. I, I, I thought of a name for her. And I think you're going to hate me. I usually do. Instead of Holy Roller, her name would be a Hoagie Roller. <laughs> She's not going to be Sandwich Face. No! Oh, I'm not giving her a Sandwich Face name. No! I've been she's, she's a baker. She's not a sandwich artist. <laughs> Quiznos gave me this power. <laughs> oh, my lord. Well, dang, what would her name be? I do actually really like her design. <laughs> yeah, this turned out way better than I thought it would. Oh, hang on. Hmm. Yeah, that's alright, I guess. Uh, Let's see. Let's see, any other little touches? Maybe just a little sprig of hair. Should we... Should, should she wear gloves? Of course, she works with food. Yeah, no, she would wear gloves, wouldn't she? Uh, maybe this is like the one kind of real, because usually superheroines have kind of found fancy outfits. Maybe this is her one fancy piece of paraphernalia. Yeah. She got them long gloves. <laughs> they 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 start out though, like when when she's like first putting her costume together, they're literally just really long rubber gloves, <laughs> like for cleaning like toilets and stuff, <laughs> like the kind farmers put on when they're helping a cow give birth. Right, of course. <sighs> oh, of course, cow birthing gloves. Yes, <laughs> I grew up on a farm. <laughs> yep. Yeah, no, that's just accurate. I grew up uh, deep in the gargoyle dungeons, so you know. Also accurate. Yeah. That's where he still lives, actually. Yeah, no, that's that's also just accurate. I have to go through an entire quest just to get him out here to make videos with me. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I, I, I don't come out too often because of that, you know. I haven't actually gotten the uh, quick travel feat down yet, so... <laughs> uh, it'll be a couple of levels. Anyway. Right. You, We don't have a, we don't have a teleporter on our team, mm -hmm. so it's hard. Um, I'm going to try I'm gonna add some creases here but then I'm gonna try something and I want you to tell me how you feel about it sure 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 double cape 
I'm not opposed to the idea, actually. Not, I, it doesn't look nearly as silly as I thought it would. Yeah, he's, he's a double cape? Double cape. Double cape. All right. Maybe this is kind of where she separates her chef outfit, I guess. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like to think that the cape is made out of, like, mycelium or something. Like, I don't know what that is. Oh, uh, like plant fiber. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's eco-friendly. <laughs> this foot is wrong. Hang on. Let me make it right. Um, actually, that's her left foot. <laughs> I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Unfortunately, all I have are these healing bombs. Let me do a quick, um... Ah, <laughs> oh, no, you're making my life better. <laughs> ah. This is what it looks like when she, uh... When she does it. She can make, like, smaller explosions, like smaller bombs. Mm. But they all look like this, just... Uh, oh! dying just on a smaller scale mm -hmm. or larger i like to think that like her big this goods will, this all will have a lot better in color but you get it oh for sure for sure uh, all right now it looks like a weird tree <laughs> i make a tree ah! uh i like to think that all of her baked goods that she sells in her shop like ever since she got the aid of the mushrooms like people go to her her shop now because it's like oh my my stuff is made with like you know antioxidants and superfoods like you know goji berries and but stuff. But but in reality it's actual like divine magic. Yeah, it's actually just divine mushroom magic. <laughs> <laughs> I I also like that we could say mushroom magic because uh, in the 1960s uh, that meant something completely different. Ah <laughs> 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 yeah. Action lines. I am really digging this character. Actually, yeah, this this turned out better than Color Clap. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh, but yeah, so so throw and then and then it 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 bursts. No one ever actually eats the bread she summons when she uses it as a bomb. <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> it just explodes. <laughs> There's no point in summoning it to look like food. It's just what she knows, I guess. That oh, that reminds me of uh oh no, this isn't a pie truck. This is part of a bomb factory. Oh yeah, those were bombs. <laughs> <laughs> These are bombs. Oh, uh, well, I was um, I was going to pay you money. Wait! <laughs> You know, if I was about to die right now thanks to the carelessness of a friend, well, that would be okay. <laughs> I feel like that's her arch nemesis. <laughs> the uh, the baker across the street whose who's buys are real bombs. Oh, man. We might uh, have to do another episode with an arch nemesis later, but for now, I think this chick might be done. Yeah, no. She oh, very... no, she needs a name. Yeah, no. She needs a name. Uh, uh, Baker, Mushroom, Fungus. Um... <sighs> I want to call her a red cap, but that's the name of a very angry fairy. <laughs> that's the, that is the name of a very angry fairy. I wish I knew more about mold and mushroom names. Uh, uh, that's very fair. Uh, Bake... Um. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this is this is where it all falls oh, apart. Oh jeez! <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, patty cake! <gasps> patty cake! I'm going with it. I'm rolling with it. Patty cake, patty cake, baker woman, <laughs> bake me a bomb as fast as you can. Although. Maybe that's better as her, like, secret identity alter ego type deal. Yeah. For her superhero Oh, name. her name is Patty Cake. That's adorable. <laughs> and everyone makes fun of her for it, and she hates it, but she secretly kind of thinks it's cute, too. Yeah, right. Hmm. Um. <laughs> oh, boy. A.K.A. A.K.A. Um. Ye yeast. <laughs> Ye 
yeast. <laughs> uh, yeast of all? I don't know. Hmm. I'm I'm thinking of bread puns here because that's really all I've got going for me. <laughs> um. Oh jeez. I refuse to stop until we have a name for this good girl. This very good girl. Um, Patty Cake, aka the. <gasps> The bread cross. Oh! oh! That's so good. Yes. Oh, yes. The bread oh, cross. Oh, man. <laughs> yes. I like to think that that's like her name was originally the Red Cross, oh. and like everyone makes fun of Patty Cake, someone was like, don't you mean the Bread Cross? And now she literally hasn't been able to get rid of it. Like, <laughs> I guess. Like, <laughs> I guess. I guess that's that's my my life now. I, bread. Oh man, that's too good. That is really good. That's, that's so good. I like I like how we incorporated bread and cross. Literally, neither of those things actually have to do with the powers we pulled off the wiki. <laughs> oh, it's so oh, good. Oh man, it's so good. Well, guys, here she is, Patty Cake. AKA the Bread Cross. I love this character. She's actually very good. I'm glad you could all be here to join <laughs> join us on this. Um, I have no idea how long this video has been, but probably too long for a single character design. Fair, but also it's beautiful. She is beautiful. All right. Well, um, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up, guys. Uh, that was our episode. Um, if you enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, all the usual YouTuber nonsense. Uh, I have a webcomic out that you can check out if you want to see more of the insane things I do called This Is The Life. Uh, at the time of this recording, it's on a little bit of a break, but it'll be up at the beginning of June with a brand new chapter. So, you know, you have a little time to read through what happened recently. Uh, I also have a Facebook and a Twitter in which I post a lot of just irreverent artwork and stupid stuff that have nothing to do with the comic and some things that do have to do with the comic. Uh, anything you want to say, Panreal, before we sign off? I. Uh I'm in other episodes. Uh, this guy makes good content. You should check those out, too. I can agree with that. All right. So, um, with all this wrapped up, uh, we have some days to save. So, this is Goblins. And Panreal. Signing off. See ya.